It is a heavyweight championship fight between John Jones and Francis Ngannou. So here is the heavyweight power threat, Francis Ngannou. Couple of outliers on his resume, the weird fight against Derek Lewis, but he came back in a big way. Back-to-back -back knockouts of Curtis Blades and Cain Velazquez that put him right back into heavyweight title contention. If you're a fan of the sport and you see a young fighter like Francis Ngannou, that's exactly the type of response you want from him when he had a rough go. Go back to the drawing board, come back re-motivated. Focus on the task at hand. Start knocking people out. Get back. Use what got you to the show in the beginning. In the knockout of Blades, in the knockout of Kane, show that Francis Ngannou is once again ready to move himself back into title contention. And his knockout of Alistair Overeem in 2017, the knockout of the year, Spaceship. according to most. Spaceship. Overeem still in orbit. Yes, he is. Yes. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. Jones will have a one inch reach advantage. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, only a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of John Bones! Jones! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fair. Great. 
So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious now. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around the list. Shot to the body now blocked by Jones. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Jones gets the takedown. Useful. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he yeah, it's in there deep. There you go. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ngannou. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Francis Ngannou. Very tricky when he throws that body. Nice punch there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Jones has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Three minutes remain in the round. Jones has got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. Transitioning to the arm submission now. He 
might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and still the undisputed UFC champion.